So if you are here, I assume you are looking for some good resources to learn Python. Stay here to listen to my review of Python Crash Course. I picked this book up a few months ago to revise my Python knowledge. The very first reason why I chose this book was the bold statement on its cover that it is the world's best-selling guide to Python programming. Over 500,000 copies sold. But did it live up to my expectations? The book consists of two parts. The first part of the book helps you to grasp all the basic programming concepts, variables, simple data types, lists, if statements, dictionaries, while loops, functions, classes, but also what's interesting how to handle files and exceptions as well as test your code. This part of the book consists not only of the theory, you will also see quite some examples and you will have plenty of opportunities to practice with the exercises in the try it yourself section. In the second part of the book you will work on actual projects creating a computer game, data visualization and a web application. Finally, the book includes a few appendices, installation and troubleshooting, text editors and IDEs, getting help as well as using Git for version control. It is worth mentioning that the author's job is teaching programming and his passion for teaching really shines through as he's patiently explaining basic programming concepts and how to troubleshoot when you get errors. He wrote Python crash course in plain language without using jargon which can very often be discouraging for newbies. He clearly introduces every new concept. He has also created another learning resource, Python flashcards, which I'm going to review in a separate video. As you can imagine, I would not recommend this book to a seasoned programmer who wants to add Python to their stack. They may get a bit frustrated with thorough explanations of all the basic concepts. However, if you are looking for a beginner-friendly book, in my opinion, this is a perfect resource to get you started. One more thing, I had a look at the reviews of this book on Amazon and quite a few people were complaining about poor binding as their book broke apart. These were reviews from a few years ago and it seems not to be the case with the edition I bought. It's even mentioned on the cover of that book that it uses a durable binding now. So thumbs up to the publisher No Starch Press for reacting to complaints. Well, that's everything that I wanted to share with you. I hope you found this review useful. If that's the case, please like the video and it would also be great if you subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come.